Hey guys, it's Brandy here. I'm just here editing videos. Um, actually, I just finished our um, Cruise Day Tuesday vlog for this Tuesday, so yay me! I got that done! <laughs> um, but also, at the same time, I've been back and forth debating whether I should post a video about this or not. Um, and and I probably sh maybe should have vlogged my experience with it, but I didn't because I just didn't feel like it at the time. But it finally got me. I I just got over COVID. Um, it happened right after our magic uh, cruise, and I'm just basically taking it that we were just doing a lot we had the drink package and I thought my body was just like trying to acclimate back to somewhat normalcy after four days of fun um but the Tuesday we got back I just had like real like body aches and I'm saying okay you know what maybe it's a just a my body's way of like oh my god whoa what's happening here and I just I let it go but then the next morning, Wednesday morning after, I feel fine. It's like, okay, cool. I'm I'm fine with this. But then Wednesday afternoon into the evening, I just start to feel like crap. And don't mind the sound. Kona's just eating his chomp just to keep him busy while he could do this video. <laughs> um, and I just felt run down, tired, achy. The only that's a really a symptom I had was achiness at that time like eh, okay Thursday morning comes and it's like you know what I better check my, check my temperature I had slight fever I think it was a hundred hundred point one hundred point three I mean it was high but it wasn't high high and I said you know what I better test and sure enough it was it I was I was bummed um, a, I escaped two years of not having it and but you know what it is what it is both Dave and I talked and actually Dave tested and he was negative thankfully it's it's all it's the virus is here everybody's gonna get it at some point and ta da <laughs> but I was of course I stayed home from work um, so I got another Vacation from vacation, I guess you want to say. Um, Thursday, I felt okay. I started to get the congestion a little bit more. Um, the aches actually went away, believe it or not. It was kind of weird. I had aches for two days, but then the congestion hit on the, the third day, I, I guess I would say. But luckily, all my symptoms were just like I just had a bad head cold. That's what it really felt like, thankfully. Um, Thursday, I kind of was okay, so I figured I'd stay home, do some editing. So uh, that's how I got the Pema Canal vlog done. Um, that one I knew that was going to take some time, and it did. It took a lot of time because there was a lot of camera angles and all that, so I dealt with that. So, hey, good excuse for me to edit, I guess. Um, Friday... Friday was the worst that I felt. I had a ton of congestion. No headache, though. No headache for the time I was home. As I said, as I was home. But I had a ton of sinus pressure. I couldn't breathe through my nose at all on Friday. And that, that stunk because I really couldn't even fully rest because I couldn't breathe. <laughs> Um, Saturday, I felt better. Um, and even though I did feel better on Saturday, I sounded horrible. Just because of the cough and the congestion, I sounded like I've been smoking for 50 years. Actually, a good representation is that character from Spongebob, where it's the daughter and the mother, the, like the really old mother for the chocolate episode on Saturday here because that's what I sounded like. Chocolate. I remember when they first invented chocolate. 
sweet, sweet chocolate. I always hated it. A grocery pickup because we had nothing here. Uh, so went and picked that up and I figured, you know what, I'm going to do, um, I ordered those, uh, vapor, fixed vapor tablets for the, t for the shower. <laughs> do me some good. So I did it that night. I opened the thing and I think to myself, I should be spilling the Vicks a little bit more better. I thought maybe it was like a, a dud tablet. It's like, okay. So I, I took my shower, so I'll not then. But then when I went to brush my teeth, I tasted nothing. Yep. Then I tried the mouthwash, gargle with that and all that. Nothing. It could felt the sensation from it, but no. I even tried hot sauce just to verify. I could feel the tingliness from the hot sauce, but no taste. So I lost taste and smell Saturday night. But luckily, the next morning, Sunday, Sunday I felt a lot better, thankfully. Um, like each day, hey Kona, <laughs> don't mind him. Um, <laughs> on Sunday, I felt better, then I got some of my taste and smell back. I think it was just because I was just so plugged, like I had a bad cold. They got really just all mucked up, basically. But I'll be honest, from like Sunday and even until, I would say maybe even yesterday, or like a week after, my taste and smell has been on and off. It's not fully, I have it, but it's not to its full, full potential, I guess. Um, today, uh, this is Sunday, June the 12th, I'm a lot better. Yeah. What are you? No, don't be biting that. He's an attention hog. See? Attention hog. Hi. You want to talk to the people? Hey, you got to hang out with me for a few days, right? But, but from, yeah, last Sunday, and I stayed home Monday as well, last Monday, just for my quarantine. Um, taste and smell was really wonky. But the congestion was a lot better. Like, it lit up a lot better for me. And when I finally went back to work on Tuesday after my quarantine, that's when my headache hit. I didn't have a headache the whole time I was in a quarantine. But of course, the day I'm going back to work, I have a pounding sinus headache. It's like, seriously. <laughs> but then, um, I just took a hot shower, kind of alleviate some of the sinus pressure, mucinex, um, etc. the whole shebang. And just even some bonine because I felt a little off kilter and it was upset in my stomach. So it was one of those types of headaches that I get. Like sinus headaches usually bother me uh, where it affects my stomach because it just throws my balance off. And you know, I'm like the poster child of motion sickness. So that happens to me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I had to deal with that, so that's when the headache finally hit. <laughs> but now, <coughs> my cough and congestion, it's still lingering from that, but on top of everything, allergies. <laughs> so it's like, it all it's all one on top of the other right now. But the one thing I do regret out of this whole ordeal, I should have been proactive, and I really didn't think about it until like Sunday of last week that I should have gone to the doctor and tested because we're cruising July 6th and chances are if I test again I might show still positive but if I went to the doctor and got tested by them and then got cleared by them that was okay to sale that would be my exemption I did not do that I hope things go smoothly for me the week of the 4th and go from there. Anyways, I figured, you know what, I just pop in and share my story because it's, it's life. This is what we're dealing with nowadays. And it finally happened to me. But, but will it deter me from cruising? No, it won't because it's, it's everywhere. It's not, 
on cruise ships, which most likely that's where I got mine from. But I it's it's everywhere. Everywhere you go, where there's humans around, it's around. So you just take your best precautions as you can and keep clean and just do your best. That's all you could do. But that's another reason I wanted to post this. Even though, like I said, I dealt with it after a travel trip. And I was, and we did good. We've been on two, three, four, five cruises and been on three or four plane rides since this whole pandemic started. And we were fine. But it was just this time, it finally got me. It will, and it will not deter me to travel anywhere or go anywhere. You gotta live your life. There's other things out there too as well besides the sea. So you could get anything anywhere. You just take your best precautions and go enjoy. But thanks for listening, guys. I know it's not the most. It's it's a random vlog, but. <laughs> um, but just wanted to pop in and share my experience with you guys. But I'm just going to chill here. Maybe take color for a walk a little bit and have my lemon water. Hopefully we'll be on the magic again on July 6th. So thanks for listening, guys. And we'll check you in the next video.